In 2013, one of the biggest retailers in America was brought to its knees, not by a shadowy hacker inside a server room, but by an air conditioning company. Hey, cyber sleuths and digital detectives, welcome back to Walid Academy channel. This is the story of how hackers stole over 40 million credit card numbers through the digital backdoor of a heating and cooling system. Target Corporation, a retail giant, trusted by millions of families during the busy holiday season. But in December 2013, shoppers had no idea that swiping their card was about to make them part of one of the largest breaches in history. The weak link? A small Pennsylvania-based HVC contractor. Target gave them network access to remotely monitor store refrigeration and air conditioning. Convenient, efficient, but also dangerous. Attackers first breached the HVAC vendor system, stealing login credentials. With those, they slipped quietly into Target's corporate network, undetected. From there, they moved laterally, across servers, through security layers, and finally into the heart of the retail operation, the point-of-sale systems, where every card swipe became theirs for the taking. During the height of the holiday rush, hackers installed malware that skimmed card data in real time. In just weeks, they stole information from over 40 million credit and debit cards, and 70 million customer records. The fallout was catastrophic. Target's CEO resigned. The company paid nearly $200 million in settlements, lawsuits, and upgrades. And most of all, trust was shattered. The breach revealed a truth still haunting companies today. Your security is only as strong as your weakest partner. The smallest contractor, the cheapest smart device, the overlooked system, they can all become the doorway to disaster. In the end, Target wasn't hacked by a supercomputer or some Hollywood-style mastermind. It was hacked through the air vents. If you enjoyed this story, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more unbelievable tales of real-world hacking. Until next time, stay safe and stay vigilant.